Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and I'm pretty excited to be opening this package today. This is my very first Ipsy bag. First of all, how cute is this pink bubble mailer that it comes in? Adorable. My awesome friend Candice, aka Lip Balm Queen, was so sweet and she reached out to me and said she had the opportunity as a, an Ipsy subscriber to let a friend try a free month of the Ipsy subscription and asked me if I would be interested and I was like, um, yeah, a little bit, because I've always been curious about the subscription program, but right now I'm on a tight budget. I'm not doing Kawaii Box or any other sub programs, but this was like literally no strings attached. You can try it free for the month and cancel and I was like girl yes please I would love to try it and as it so happens there is a Sanrio affiliation with this month I am not gonna lie I checked out all the spoilers as soon as they put up a spoiler of what the bag would look like I was like squeeing and then when I got an opportunity earlier in the month to find out exactly what items were chosen for my bag I found that out too. I try to let things be surprises but sometimes I just I don't know I have no patience and I needed to know and what I really super love is that I think I'll be able to reuse this bag to this padded mailer because it's opening really nice and easily. As long as I can get the mailing address sticker off the back, I'm totally going to be reusing this for a friend mail or a swap. So somebody will be getting this really pretty bubble mailer. But the way it works is for, I believe it's $10 a month plus tax. At least in New York you pay sales tax because there's like a physical, I guess, ipsy place here. You, um... You get a makeup bag, and I believe it contains five different items that are chosen for you based on your preferences. They ask you all kinds of research demographic questions like what, you know, what's your makeup style? Are you more natural? Are you more into like, you know, bright colors? What types of products do you want to try? And they try to customize it to make it things that, you know, you'll actually enjoy. So first of all, let's just appreciate the adorableness that's not a word it is now, of this Gutatama freaking bag. I love it. I actually have three Ipsy bags, just the bags themselves. One I received in a friend mail a while back from my friend Erin, and the other two I purchased at yard sales. They were just empty, and they're such cute bags. I love these, not only for makeup, but also for stationary supplies. I have one I keep in my pocketbook all the time that I keep my coupons in. Sorry, guys, I'm a little sniffly. But how cute is this bag? Not only does it have this adorable egg on the front, but he's on the back too. I'm so excited. Look, look at his butt cheeks. Are you kidding me? He's an egg and he's got butt cheeks. I, what is, could be cuter than that? <gasps> okay, okay, what could be cuter than that? It's an Ipsy label and it's a word bubble. And on the back, can you read that, you guys? On the back it says meh. Because apparently Gutatama is like the laziest Sanrio character in the history of Sanrio. And I am all about the lazy life. I am obsessed with this. For the bag alone, I am so stoked. If there was nothing in it, I would be on cloud nine. But there are goodies in it. And let's see. Okay, so first up, we get this little card that tells you about it. The theme, apparently, I guess is over easy for July 2017. Who's this funny little guy? Find out on ipsy.com. And on the back here, it says, Hey there, sleepyhead. Well, first at the very tippy top, it says, Ipsy times Gutatama. There's what it says, but I'll read it to you really quickly. It says, Hey there, sleepyhead. Don't move a muscle. Lazy Sunday vibes are here. This is so, like, my vibe right here. Um, we're talking laid back, easy everything. Think tussle top knots, insanely soft tees, flushed lips and cheeks, and you know, not wearing pants. Our motto? Homebody is the new beach body. And our mascot? None other than Gutatama, aka the sleepy, super chill cartoon egg who's spreading the lazy bay vibes around your glam bag all month long. We'd love to tell you more, but that sounds like way too much work. So come lounge around with us on ipsy.com to get in on hashtag ipsy over easy. The one thing you shouldn't sleep on, reviewing your picks so we can make your August glam bag even more amazed. It'll only take a minute, we swear. Ipsy creator at I am Carino, K-A-R-E-N-O. But again, that is what it says on the back. 
I wish I was going to be able to continue this into August, but again, I'm on a budget, so I'm not doing any subscription programs right now. But what was cool is that once this shipped, I went ahead and canceled, and they said you can get back in on the Ipsy bag anytime. You would not be waitlisted. Apparently, there was a waitlist for a long, long time, I guess, to do this. So anyway... It says, join us for Gen Beauty New York, September 23rd and 24th of 2017. So doing a special, it says on the back here, Generation Beauty by Ipsy. You can purchase your ticket between July 1st and September 1st at genbeauty.com using the code NYCGLAM2017 for 40% off second release. And it tells you all about this event at will apparently be being held at the Javits Center in NYC. I don't get to New York City nearly as often as I'd like. And I'm not a super makeup girl. As you guys can probably tell by my face, it's pretty much naked unless I have lip balm or lip gloss on. But I like makeup. I like to experiment with it every now and then. So I thought this would be a really fun opportunity to do that. Okay, so let's get to the goodies. Is there a list of goodies somewhere in here? There isn't. Oh, okay, but that's all right. Okay, first up, I'm so excited that I got picked for this. This is Jersey Shore Cosmetics. It is called Mandarin, or Mandarin Green, Orange, and Ginger. I'm going to guess that that word is Mongongo Lip Conditioner. And that is what it looks like. It's cute, cute packaging. And it actually, on the little like, sticker tab here, it says, Full of Goodness. So it is nutrient-dense, anti-aging, all-natural, non-GMO, and organic ingredients. Nutrient-dense balm can be used to nourish anywhere on your face and body, particularly recommended for lips, hands, and even dry nose and cheeks. Mangongo oil contains calcium, magnesium, copper, and zinc. And then it's got all the ingredients here, manuf manufactured for and distributed by Jersey Shore Cosmetics, LLC, based out of Marlboro, New Jersey. And their website is jerseyshorecosmetics.com, and it is cruelty-free and made, obviously, in the USA if it's made in Jersey. So that's really, really cool. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just swatch things and stuff while we're in this video. Why not? Okay. Oh, and I like that I was able to, like, tear it off and keep that little sticker on there. Chapstick. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give up on chapstick that someday they will make the little sticky, um, the little plastic covers that go on these little lids attach and not come off once you pop the lid but anyway this is what it looks like it's kind of like just slightly yellowish and it's like like got a divot in the middle mm. now what is this supposed to smell like again okay mandarin green orange and ginger i've never heard of a mandarin green orange only mandarin oranges oh it feels really jellyish and super super smooth you can see you get a little bit of shine there. The ginger's a little off-putting, I'm not going to lie. I would prefer it to be just the citrus without the ginger, but let me try some on. Okay, in this case, it doesn't really have a flavor, and I'm glad for that because I'm not a super huge fan of ginger. The only time I really ever get it is if I go to the Japanese restaurant. They usually give you a ginger dressing on your salad. I'm not a particular fan of ginger. The scent is really strong, and again, the ginger, I'm not so much digging. But in terms of the quality of the lip balm, it feels super, super moisturizing really slick and um jellyish like i said i'm i'm super pleased with the quality of it just not a super big fan of that scent combination okay the next item we have is this okay there were two colors available for eyeshadow and again there's more than just these five items that you could potentially get but i knew what five items i was getting it listed that there were two different colors of this eyeshadow that could possibly be in my pack it says Gold Rush Eyeshadow, okay, used in palettes and kits. So it is from a company, I'm assuming this is called Ofra or Ofra. I don't know which. I've never heard of this brand before, but there is the website right there at the bottom. It is, I'm, I'm going to go with Ofra because it rhymes with Oprah, so why not? We'll say Ofra Cosmetic Laboratories, but this is, again, Gold Rush Eyeshadow. Not a color I would typically choose for myself because it seems really warm toned and I am definitely very cool toned, but it is what it is. It's something fun to try and that is how it comes. So obviously I don't have, oh, 
crap, okay? I don't have anything to put it in, so it's just gonna have to stay in here, unfortunately. But let me swatch a little bit of it. It looks really pretty and shimmery. Again, I'm just not sure it's gonna be a really great color for me, but, oh wow. It feels almost creamy. It's a gorgeous color. I just am not sure I'm gonna be able to pull it off being so cool toned. I'm really surprised because there were two different colors available and I would have thought that I would have gotten the one that was not so warm toned because I specified that I'm blue eyed, blonde haired and very cool toned skin, but it's really pretty. So I don't know, we'll see, hopefully. I mean, I would say like, you know, for someone with like a really pretty summer tan, it would look gorgeous on you, but I'm like albino girl, I never get tan. I burn and go right back to my pasty whiteness. So I don't know if it's gonna be a great color on me, but you know what, I didn't pay for this box, or this bag rather, it's all just fun stuff to experiment with and try. So I'm super grateful to Candace for the opportunity. Okay, I'm gonna pause for just a minute because I have a little bit of a runny nose, hold on guys. Okay, gang, sorry about that. It actually gave me an opportunity to go get a moistened paper towel too so that I can wipe this lip balm off because I do happen to know there is another lip-related item in this pack. And I've got a little bit of my eyeshadow swatch off on here because it was on my finger, but okay. Next up, we got a brush. I'm really, really, really surprised that there's not a list of what's in the box in this bag somewhere. That's really weird. I totally expected that. Even if it was a list of every potential item you could get with like retail prices and stuff, I don't know if that's a mistake of that typically does come in here, but there is legit nothing in here that tells you like what retail prices are or contact information for the companies or anything. It's just that join, that gen beauty thing and then the little card that I showed you at the beginning. So that's kind of weird. I guess you have to go to the website to get more info. But, okay, this is a brush by IBY Beauty, and it says on the back, it is a crease brush made in China. Again, I am not a huge, you know, makeup person, so I don't own a lot of brushes, but it's really pretty, I can definitely tell you that. I like the purple a lot, and oh, it feels really soft. I'm not going to test it now because I don't want to get it dirty, even though I'm obviously getting it dirty, stroking me and lovingly. You know what it feels like to me? Do you guys know what pussy willows are? They used to grow in my backyard. If you don't, Google pussy willows. They're the cutest, like, I guess it's a plant. I don't think it's a flower, but it's a plant that grows and it gets these little tufts that are like the softest little things that remind me of the tip of this brush. It feels like a pussy willow to me. And no, I'm not being rude, that's what it's called. But anyway, it's super, super soft. So I'm really excited to try it. I mean, a crease brush, you know, obviously, I guess is supposed to be to get uh, in here, in your crease, I would imagine. I, again, I'm like such a makeup like noob, it's ridiculous. At 44 years old, I don't know how it's possible I can be a makeup noob, but I've never really been taught proper makeup applying techniques. And when I try to figure shit like that out for myself, I, it's an epic fail. So <laughs> anyway, but I'm super excited to try that because it feels like a pussy well and I just wanna rub it all over my face, it's awesome. Okay, next up we have, doo -doo -doo. oh, how cute is this packaging? This is called Trifle Cosmetics, and it is the Raspberry Ripple Ombre Radiance Blush Palette. How cute is this packaging? Are you freaking kidding me? And on the back it says Soft Ripple, if you can see right above the barcode, and it is also cruelty-free, yay, that always makes me happy to see. This says it is three light-enhancing blush shades in one nifty portable palette. Is all, okay, let me start over because I'm squaring it up. Three light enhancing blush shades in one nifty portable palette is all you need for smooth, plumped up, younger looking cheeks. Brush the left and middle shades, both with Radiance Glow trademark pigments, onto the apples of your cheeks when you need color and illumination, and use the last shade on the right with Pure Reservatrol to help give color, moisture, and reduce hyperpigmentation. Okay, very cool. And this says it is good for 12 months from the time you open it. I did learn what that symbol means. My awesome friend Mary taught that to me because she's way more of a makeup guru than I clearly am. So are most like, you know, six-year-old girls, but I'm just saying. And probably boys too. But um, yeah, 
Okay, and at Trifle Cosmetics is how you can contact them, I guess, on, oh wait, that's Instagram. Um, I would assume everywhere else it's just Trifle Cosmetics as well, but look at how cute. Okay, it's got a, this is cute. See, Ofra or Ofra, you're kind of slacking in your packaging there. This is, this is what I call a palette. I mean, that's adorable. I love that it actually has the Trifle on there and the little cupcake. Oh, so cute. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare. I apologize. It's really reflective, but that is super, super cute. And this is like perfect for my purse. And there's, the, again, the Ombre Radiance Blush Palette. Okay, let me see if I get this open without breaking it. Wouldn't that be something special? Because it's really cute, so I don't want to break it. Oh, and these are really pretty colors, too. This one on the left is definitely the one I would wear the most. The one in the center and the right are a little bit, again, more warm toned, but I think I could still probably pull them off, especially in the summertime when you want like more of a rosy, deeper glow, like, you know, the illusion that you actually leave the house and get sun. But this is really adorable and I'm super, super stoked about that. Oh, I guess I should swatch the colors as I get my wet paper towel off here. Let me fine fingers so we can try those out yeah that's hmm that's very very pale I'm trying not to like use too much up because I don't know how much how far it will go but can you see it at all it's very 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 light just above the eyeshadow there it's really pretty very like just rosy glow kind of natural looking I think this middle one I can probably pull off as well it's definitely more of a tanny warmer tone almost more of like a bronzer color I would think from what little I know of like actual cosmetics and what a bronzer would be used for this one's going to be dark for me I can tell yeah that's really like a russety kind of rust reddish almost orangey color so I don't know how much I would use the other two colors but the pink I would use for sure that's definitely up my alley and I'm in love with this box. I'm packing it back in the box for now, but it will end up being junk journal because this piece on the front here is just too cute not to. I have a new junk journal coming on Saturday, you guys. I finished my first one last night, so I will be featuring that in a video in a little bit. But, um, okay, let me clean my hand off there a little bit, my fingers off. Okay, and we have one item left, guys, and this is probably the one, other than the lip balm, I was the most excited about because it is another lippy product. This one is Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the color Rose. And the company is, let's see, it says distributed by Nude Sticks Incorporated, N-U-D-E-S-T-I-X. And this is based out of Toronto, Canada, but it is made in Germany. Okay, go figure. I really, I, I don't know, Ipsy, is, am I missing a, a contents list? Like, because I really feel like there should be a list in here. I know when I did a trial of Birchbox years ago, it had a list of like what the costs of things would be if you got them in full size, like on the retail market. And I just feel like there should be something in here that lists all of the contents of the of the bag. But I don't know. I don't know if that was missed somehow or if I'm just incorrect about that. But this is the beautiful color. Does it wind up at all or is it just what's there? Nope, it's just what's there, but that's okay. It's enough to try for sure. I'm gonna swatch this up on like my thumb here. Oh, I like that a lot. That's very, very pretty. Okay, let me wipe off my balm here so I can try that on. Cause this looks really, really pretty. I was super excited for this. I know this. May not be the best application because the light's kind of wonky. Sorry, guys. It's getting later in the evening, and you know me. I don't have anything professional whatsoever about this setup or how I shoot. Hmm. I think it's pretty. It's definitely... Is It, it does say matte. I was going to say because it definitely looks matte and, and feels rather dry. But I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan, though, of matte lip color. I've said this in other videos. I like it because it's versatile. If you're not into the matte color, you could always just apply some gloss or some balm on top to get the shiny look. Sorry, my phone's ringing, guys, of course. But, um, but yeah, I'm actually a big fan of this color, though. I think it's really pretty. I think it's flattering on me. And um, 
Yeah, I will definitely rock this color. In fact, let me put some of the balm over the top so you guys can get a look at it more shiny. And there it is with more of a shiny look. So yeah, I overall, I, I have to say, of course, my favorite thing about this bag is the bag itself because hello, Sam Rio, I'm obsessed. And the inside is yellow, which I love. It's just super sunny and pretty. And yes, Gutitama by Sanrio is on the little taggy inside. So it is an official, in, you know, official licensing, you know, thing with Ipsy and Sanrio. But other than the bag itself, in spite of the ginger, because now I'm getting used to it, so I don't mind it so much. My favorite item, cosmetics wise, would probably be this lip balm. I would say my second for sure is the matte lip color. And my third, just because it feels so freaking awesome to pet it, like it's my little friend, is this makeup brush. Because it does legit remind me of a pussy willow. I'm telling you, please Google what pussy willows are if you don't know. Because you'll be like, okay, now I get where this crazy woman is coming from. I'm, I'm most disappointed in the eyeshadow just because if you don't have a kit or a palette to put it in, which I do not, it's not very convenient and this is a little cardboard thing and um, I really love the packaging on this. I really love the first pinky color but the other two colors are not super flattering on me so I will definitely use the one pink but I would say this and the eyeshadow are the, the items I'm not as thrilled with as the others. But overall, I mean, hello, it was free. And I'm so grateful to Candace for giving me the opportunity to try this out. I would definitely revisit it again at some point in the future when my financial situation is different because it's a lot of fun to get these bags alone. And, you know, for 10 bucks to get five products, I mean, you really can't beat that. It's, it's I gotta be one of the cheapest subscription programs that are out there. And I'm feeling like I might have said prescription before. If I did, forgive me. I'm just a dingle dork blondie sometimes. But um, as subscriptions go, I mean, you're not gonna really do much better than 10 bucks a month. And the shipping is included, so it's 10, whatever, I don't know, 10, 40 something, I think. I don't know if, it, I guess it was New York City sales tax, which I think is cheaper than Long Island sales tax. I'm not really sure exactly because I didn't pay for it. It did show me what the total would have been because sales tax is charged in New York State and I believe also California. I'm not positive about that though. I think the rest of the com country you get off without having to pay the sales tax. But um, it's all based on if there's a brick and mortar location in your state, I think, as to whether that they charge tax or not. But overall, I'm super stoked with this. Thank you again so much, Candace, for giving me the opportunity to try this. It was so much fun. I'm obsessed with the bag. I'm obsessed with the lip products. So really, yeah, I'm a happy girl. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry this was a little long-winded, but it is my first time experiencing Ipsy, so I wanted to be thorough. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will definitely be back soon with more stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.